of Alarus is a small skelly creature that lives in a barren Iceland. It spends most of its time in a cave. The cave has a single opening that appears like the mouth of a great beast with icicles that hang like massive teeth. This creature has three mysteries. One, the Valarusa's eyes are capable of possessing a man's soul. Two, the Valarus has an ancient and mysterious device where it stores the human souls. Three, the Valarus has mastered time. The Valarus has stored many human souls over eons. The Valarus can be contained by time as it is no longer subject to it, or so it thinks. In the floating city of Baskar, there was a young hero. The whispers of his greatness can be heard on the edge of the blowing winds. The city where he lives is dwindling in population, for the Valarus has become more enraged over time and hungrier and hungrier for the possession of human souls. It's a strange Tuesday. The Iceland winds are more peculiar than usual. There's a strange scent in the air, something the boy can't quite put his finger on. He has an urge to walk to the town's hollow books. He searches in a section of scents where the books smell like their topics. He searches in the section. Strangely, some sunlight, which is hardly ever seen since the great darkening, pierces through the sky for just a moment and warms the edges of an old book on a high shelf the boy has never noticed. The sunlight causes the book cover to expand and the book falls from its resting place. The boy runs and leaps to catch it, but he's too late, just misses. As his fingers graze the edge, the book hits the ground and shatters into a thousand pieces. But ever so strangely, a single page floats slowly down, gracefully carried on the thick scented air. As the boy looks up mesmerized, his hands unfold in front of him, and the single page lands in his hands. The letter on the page shift into alignment as if it comes into being in this very moment. The paper reads, The Archer Friend. As the boy reads these words, they're whispered on the wind, and an image of the ancient friend appears on the page. Then as quickly as the words came, they're gone. The boy rolls the paper up and puts it in his pouch. The wind whispers, You're ready. You've always been the lover of men's souls. A hole that the boy has never seen opens. The wind whispers, this is your moment. Cease it, or it will forever be gone. With, a, with only a slight hesitation, the boy leaps forward into the hall and through the opening. The connection to his world collapses on itself, and he's standing on a disconnected plane of reality. For you see, the floating town of Vascar has been sealed off and levitated from the underworld so as to protect its last inhabitants from the Valarus, or more commonly, the Soul Snatcher.